Hello YouTube, it's Captain Planet, and like I promised in the last little quickie review, I would be reviewing the saxophone playing, gambling, womanizer, liquor drinking hero that is Black Condor from Chojin Sentai Jetoman. So this is the box. It's the same as Red Hawk. It's the gold actually shows up a lot better than on the red one. That's for sure. Hold on, let me fix this light here. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. It it shows up a lot better, I think. It really works. Here's the box. It's movable parts, and it's identical to Red Hawks. Oh, this is the Bluefin release. Also, that's just some to note, if you are a mint and sealed box guy, technically this is not mint and sealed box. I can't show it here too well on camera, I don't think. Hold on. Yeah, it's not going to show up. There's actually two layers of tape right here, because they have to, I think, inspect the toys or something for safety issues. So technically they reopen the box to inspect the contents. Um, and you also get like little warning labels. Wow, my white balance is crazy. This box does not play well with the white. Yeah, you still get the sticker, you get the Tamashi web shop exclusive. What is also kind of cool though is that even though it's a bluefin release, you get a brown mailer box that's also been opened already, so you get two layers of tape. This is actually a little bit more apparent. See, you can see me pulling off tape and there's tape underneath. I like these. A lot of people don't care. Some people throw them away. I keep them because I'm a weirdo and I'm like a secret hoarder about my figure arts. And there's a barcode and it's recycled. And this is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about freaking awesome Black Condor. He's a cool guy. Look at this guy. He is exactly like Red Hawk. He, he, this is this is a repaint. This is this is a complete repaint. I mean, from the head all the way down to the toes. This is. This so repaint. I did not get derp eyes again. I guess I look, looked out there. See, my eyes are nice and symmetrical. I wish that I could say that about everything. Um, right here on the belt. Crotch shot. I don't even think that it's going to focus on this. Okay. Okay. You see this top little stripe right here? Yeah, it's not on the molding. They totally missed. So, that is... It, like, I guess it's not very apparent from afar, but, well, it's not really apparent when I don't focus it in. It's not really apparent here, but, like, as you get closer and closer to his crotch, you, it, it becomes really obvious really fast. But other than that, I don't really see any huge fudge-ups that, like, ruin it for me. The plastic on this does not seem like it's the same plastic on this. I can't really tell on camera, but trust me, there. this is a slight shade darker. But that's whatever. You can just pretend that he's been fighting in the rock quarry and he got all dirty and stuff. Speaking of fighting and posing and, you know, just, just overall being awesome Sentai dude, let's talk about his posability as I pose him, apparently because I'm changing the rules and structures of my reviews on a whim. He's got plastic feet. I don't know how I feel about this ankle. It works, but it's not the normal one. It's it's different, and it's it's the same one that I complained about on Red Hawk and the Akiba Rangers, and you get a toe joint because I don't know why, because you get double jointed knees. I I don't have two minds of this knee joint. I do like it. Just at some points it gets strange, like there. But like there it's a little bit more natural. I don't know, it works. You get the thigh swivel and you get out of focus. You get thigh swivels, but like 
they don't seem to want to jive too well. See, this one's like loose, but it doesn't want to go to the proper area. It's hard to get that on camera without being like, so. Um, legs are very nice and tight and poseable and whatnot. He looks good. At least from the waist down, he gets it's got all of his articulation. Um, you do actually get a good crunch and bend and all that stuff, except for here. This is crap. I did not realize this. You'd, like, because of the gimmick or removable parts, it, like, you cannot move him with a crap. Um, arms, you get the Shinkenger shoulder that works, that I raved about in Red Hawk's review. You get wrist, the wrists on this don't seem to want to pose a, or twist a whole lot. Like, that's about as far as it goes. Just real subtle bends. One thing that I want to point out, this is totally on my figure alone. I'm like 99% sure. I have a bum arm. It's semi-loose. It holds everything. Like, gravity doesn't take it down whenever I put the gun or sword or fist thing in his hand. But like it is crazy easy to move and it's it's like it's total loose arm right now. That that really sucks. I'm gonna have to find a way to figure that out and fix it. Um head head's good. Like the head on on this body works real well. The helmet's cut just perfect too to allow for a lot of movement. Overall, I, his posability is Red Hawk. That's gonna be a lot of this review is gonna ruin it right now, people. A lot of this is just Red Hawk's review. Just kind of dragging it out, apparently. Um, hands, you get the fists. You get two sword holding hands. You get flight pose salute hands. You get gun hands, and you get Talon air quotes hands, and they're all sculpted like hands. They all have little tiny ridges in it. They're pretty basic. Every single one of them is the same. Um, you get the back piece again. The back piece on this one actually comes off a lot easier. I say that now and then I struggle with it. No, it comes off a lot easier. So you can just... Oh, that sounded bad. Nah, we're good. We're good. That wasn't... A... Okay, I didn't break anything. Cool beans. Yeah, see, so you get the wings. And then you can fly. Yay. You get, hold on while I try to fish out these accessories because I didn't do that preemptively before I started the review. One more thing about this bum arm, that was out of the box. It didn't like just slowly deteriorate over time. Out of the box, it was that bad. Which is extremely disappointing. Normally it takes a little bit for those things to wear down and I don't know, I, I guess I'm expecting a little bit much, maybe. It's not like it's Tamashi Web exclusive or anything. And I kind of set it to a higher standard, but whatever. I'm just kind of stalling now to get all the accessories out. Okay, all the accessories are out. Yay, waste a minute of your time. You get two holsters. They peg in just about as well as Red Hawks. They do a lot better job staying on than like the decor. Wow, these ones are actually stiffer. Hold on. I didn't realize how stiff these were. Maybe you're not the same. No, you're the same. Yeah, they're less pliable, but these holsters, they hold on really well to the side of them. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have a sword in collapsed mode, and we got a gun. The 
gun is painted with all Jetman colors. It's like the colors of the rainbow. Looks good. Nicely detailed. Fun stuff. You get the sword fully extended out. Nice thin plastic as I attempt to break a toy. And then you get the sword and gun combined. Which looks like a sword and gun combined. And then you get the knuckle thing. People say that they've broken like the elbows and stuff off of the... I don't know how when using this they like break the elbow. I just thought that it was as simple as hand swapping. And then looking at this, it's exactly the same as Red Hawks. You are literally getting everything but the Acubo Range accessory in this. And then a little tail piece to, that plugs into here. And just imagine, because I believe that I did it in the Red Hawk review. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do final thoughts for this womanizing badass who plays cards with God and gets her to do whatever he wants. So yeah, let's let's go. Let's fly. Let's go places. Final thoughts. SH Figure Arts Black Condor is a solid release. Even with my very isolated QC problems, he is a very solid figure. If you want him Bear in mind that he is in fact a repaint of Red Hawk. So if you own Red Hawk, you're basically just buying the same figure except black. With that out of the way, I also want to say that if you're going to buy this, don't import it. I would buy it from Amazon or Big Bad Toy Store or any of those sellers because it's going to be a Bluefin release. And by buying it from Bluefin, you're helping them kind of validate bringing over web exclusives that are Sentai and Kamen Rider related. And if you're going to get him, get him for the awesome character that he is. I mean, he's Yuki guy. He he plays cards with God and, and wins and then like seduces God who's also a woman and then he plays a saxophone he, and he's just awesome. He's an all-around badass. This character is great. His figure is great. And all I have to say is, if you want it, get it. So, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.